Hiya guys, Brick McBricksworth here and today I am going to show you a little set from Star Wars because we like small sets, we like large sets and this one is really quite cool looking for even a smaller set and there's a reason for that which I'll go into about now. We have the Star Wars Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine set. Set 75299. Now, why is this one so special? I hear you asking, why is it so special? Two reasons. One, Mando in Beskar armor. And we have probably the cheapest way of acquiring a Grogu. The child. So, yes. Two reasons why this set is pretty good for what it is. And you get a Tusken Raider as well. Cool. Let's open this up. Let's have a look inside. Let's see what you get for your 25, however much money it is. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. I'm trying to open the box without damaging the box, as usual. So, da da. We have a numbered bag, number one. We have a numbered bag, number two. We have a numbered bag, number three. How did it do that? That was amazing. <laughs> three bags, one after the other, all came out. Wow, that's quite a large manual for the size of box, which is quite good. So, cool, manual, and again, just doing your, your, your general looking to see what you're building. And step by step, easy guide, and at the back shows you a few sets, what you can get, and piece parts at the end. No stickers in this one, which is always good. Let's build it, let's have a look at it, and let's show you what we think of it. So here it is, the Trouble on Tatooine set with Beskar Mandalorian. And little baby Yoda and a Tuscan Raider dude. Yeah, let's have a look through this set. Shall we have a look at the main set first? I think we should. We'll go with the speeder bike and we'll show you what it looks like with Mando and baby Yoda on. Um, baby Yoda being Grogu, obviously. So yeah, it's a pretty simple build. Uh, a lot of little pieces that just make it all up so there's quite a bit of detail in such a small set on this one so you got like some nice little greebling pieces here to make it look like you know like all especially seeing as it is so small it does make it look quite detailed a uh, little clip there for mando's big gun and a little clip on the other side for mando's little gun so he can just reach down if he wants to and shoot the bad guys on the fly uh yeah a little bit more greebling on that side just to make it look all uh, the little bit more detail. You've got a little bit for Mando's little satchel on the back there, and uh, a little place where you can put Baby Yoda in the holding uh, baby carrier. Yeah, so uh, pretty easy, easy to build. Uh, I have, I am going to be putting a speed build up on the channel of this uh, set. So if you want to watch that, go by all means, go and do so. And yeah, you can see it all built up. Um, let's move on to the Tuscan Raiders little gun thing. So it looks like a demon fly crossbow cross thing. So you imagine like while you're playing with this one, you like you you've got the bows there and there's all the pulleys and everything for the actual shooter. So it looks the part and everything. So you can, you know, he twists these and it pulls the bow back and pshom, shoots the bolt off. There you go. It is what it is. Um, yeah, it's got little feet, what keep it stood up, but a big clear piece there in the middle just to keep it stationary so it doesn't move about, which is good. Um, yeah, you can pose these however you want. You can move these up and down a bit, you know, and you can have it like, you know, like looking like a big cross thing, or you can have it looking a little bit, thin, you know, you can have it looking however daft or not daft you want, you know. It's entirely up to you. However you think looks coolest, you can position it anyway because it's on these single um, modified clip pieces. So, yeah, it's easy to move it about. And the little gun bit at the back, so that's like the little trigger so the Tuscan Raider would stand there and bang, shoot off 
into the distance and shoot the bad big bag dragon thing they end up fighting. Um, yeah, another relatively easy build with just it's it's literally just a few plates on top of each other, a few different types of plates, and that's the main body of it. Nothing special there, but kind of looks the part. And uh, let's have a look at the final bit of this one. Let's move the Tuscan Raider out of the way. And we have a Tuscan Raider half baked hut, if you will, you know, because it's only half of it. Um, you can move it around like that, so it looks like a bit of a well, more like a sunscreen on the beach, I think, you know, just keeping out the sun and the, keeping it, it's more like a windbreak than an actual hut. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so you got like the little seats and everything, the little plate and just a pan where there's a bone in it because they've already eaten, they've had their dinner. Uh, campfire's just roaring away. Um, and that's basically it. There is nothing more to say about this. It is some dark tan pieces put on some clips. It's quite repetitive for the size of it. Nothing more to say about it, really. It is exactly what it is. You know, you've got some clip pieces that you can just purely see through because it's very, very gappy because this and it falls off. Definitely just an afterthought, this build. It's nothing more than an afterthought. But yeah, it's it it would look good if you had a few more of these and you could like, you know, piece up some if you had some more dark tan pieces you could piece in the gaps especially and make it look more like a hut rather than a just a gappy bandstand I suppose. But yeah. You know, if you mock it out you could do something with it, I suppose. But then again, you'd probably just build from the ground up if you were going to do that anyway, if you were going to build your own scene. So, here he is. He's a standard Tuscan Raider with the um, he's got they have got nice printing on the torsos on these. You know you can see all the ruffles in his trousers and his and his you know bondolier belt and whatnot. So it's it is really good. Um, I love the head pieces on the Tuscan Raiders. They they do look pretty smart. They are really really cool. And you got back printing just on the torso, not on the legs. But yeah. Nice basic Tuscan Raider with his little gaffy stick there. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's not a bad addition to the set. Next we have Mando with his Beskar armor. So if I can shine that on the light just right, you can see the shiny metal as opposed to the old one which had the old armor, which is pretty good. And let's be totally honest, let's be brutally, brutally honest. The only reason we have really bought this set is for Beskar armor Mando. That is the only reason. That is the main reason. Uh, it is the main reason I bought it. Not beating around no bushes. Um, he's got the cool weapons. He's got his big um, disintegrator rifle and his other hand pistol type thing, which is cool. Um, he's got a cape on. Now, in the TV series at this point, he did have a jetpack, but this seems to be missing from the whole setup. But yeah, so uh, you can see the best guy armor on the back, but um, you know, in the series, his cape was more to the side, and then he'd have the jetpack on. So yeah, are they going to bring out yet another one where we have to buy it again, where it comes with a jetpack and a side piece cape, like kind of like the Boba Fett, what we used to get? I don't know. Well, yeah, a cool, still a cool minifigure, um, and a nice addition to a collection. And last but not least, another reason why you would get this set, because this is probably the cheapest way of acquiring a Grogu mini, 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 mini figure. So yeah, he is the same one we got in the Razor Crest. And yeah, I think he's been in one other one, possibly. I, I can't remember because I haven't got that one. But yeah, um, there he is. The, the cheapest way of acquiring a Grogu. Mm, Grogu I am. <laughs> Speak like Yoda I do. <laughs> so guys, this is what you get for £25. And honestly, is it worth it? Possibly not in this case. Um, I love the Mando Beskar armour. That's quite a good build. That's a good build. That's not. That's just an afterthought. Good addition. 
great addition. Good, great addition to the set. So yeah, overall, it's pretty good, but it is just a, an expensive way of acquiring a Mando Beskar. Guys, if you like the review, give it a like. If you'd like to comment below, uh, give us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.